we appreciate as the people of Mombasa for reverting port operations, which is the backbone of the people of coast region and the entire Kenya. We know KPA is a parastato, and when the economy, when the port services were taken to Naivasha and the other areas, for the last five years, the people of Mombasa have suffered inwardly. We really appreciate you, and we want to assure you that we will support you 100%. And we are ready to work with your government to ensure that you realize and achieve your aspiration as laid within the manifesto of the Hustler Nation. As a youth, I thank you, secondly, for making sure that the Hustler Fund and the creating the Ministry of Cooperative, which is going to co focus on uh, bottom up, especially to bring the youth together and uh, give them funds back properly to ensure that I move and support the government and they pay my taxes. Maswale ya mashamba hapa, sehemu ya timbwani, sehemu ya mwangala na sehemu zingine, na ile bububu A na bububu B, mweshimiwa the late muhima alikuja kwa ofisi yako, ukasaidia wale watu wa shikadabu wakapata title deeds. Tunakuomba likoni because it's going to be a backbone of the economy of this county. Tunakuomba your excellence Swala la mashamba kwa watu kukosa title deeds tunaomba utatue. Swala la ukosevu ya ajira upeane first priority to the leadership ya Asla Nation ikiongozwa na Mheshimiwa Mwahima hapa Likoni hili watu wetu wapate kazi. Tunataka kuona hii chama ya UDA iwe kama CCM ya kule Tanzania. Ili triko ile bottom up ikuwe na kwa realist kutoka pale chini. Hili watu wetu wakae vizuri, wa mama wetu wakae vizuri. Hata mama mmoja ameniambia sasa naweza kushika mimba nikazaa mtoto. Kwa sababu Ruta amesema NHF haitakuwa ya mtu binafsi. Utaileta na mtu hata shurutishwa na utaihakikisha kwamba kama rais wa nchi utaweka sawa. Ili jambo limekuwa likituumiza roho. Lakini sisi tulikuwa na imani kubwa sana. Ndio maana wakati uno Mombasa County tukatoa 44% ambayo ni ODM zone lakini tuligeuza tukangangana tukapata 44% kura za urais. Kwa sababu tulikuwa na imani kubwa sana tunajua deputy president aliyekuwa wakati ule tulikuwa tunamjua saini rais wetu. Roho yake ni ya imani. Yeye ni mcha Mungu na ni mtu anasimama kwa maneno yake. Nafikiri tumeona leo ameapisha majaji. Jana aliongea akasema port operations inarudi. Ni mtu ambaye ahadi zake yeye anazitimiza. Kwa mara ya kwanza tumepata speaker wa Senate from Coast Province. Hiyo ni raha kwetu. Kwa mara ya kwanza ama kwa mara nyingine tena ametukumbuka wakati wa jubilee walitukumbuka na sasa hii pia akatukumbuka tena tumepata nominated senator Miraji ambaye ni msichana wa mama mboga from down ambaye mwenye pia hakutarajia. Kwa hivyo sisi tuna imani Rais wetu Ruto ni mtu ambaye roho yake ina imani na anataka mwananchi wa chini maisha yake yabadilike. The first one is that people living with disabilities have to be assessed with a cost of 1500 to 2000. Majorly people living with disabilities have no money and their opportunities are very rare. May I ask you your excellency to allocate opportunities for people living with disabilities in every sector in this country. Point number two, Your Excellency, uh, we have a problem with the CBC. The CBC system of learning, of education, has hindered the poor child from getting proper knowledge because now it's very expensive, it requires a lot of money.